Welcome back to my next playthrough series. Yes, we're back to Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. We're doing MH2, which is Search and Rescue. And this is a big map with an upper level as well. So we'll, I'll kind of zoom into stuff as we, as we talk here. Um, this door is open and this door is open. We do not spawn in here as part of the special rules. And we do not put a bystander or spawn in this location. There is a spawn zone right here. Number one spawn zone. There's another red spawn zone here. And there's one in the upstairs. Now to get to the upstairs we have to take the elevator. Which is here. The elevator goes from this level to that one. So we will be playing with levels this time. Um, yeah, so what's going on here is we need to, well, search and rescue. We need to rescue the bystanders. There are six bystanders on the, on the underground level here. Two of them are not bystanders. Two of them are mission cards. There's a mission card one, mission card two. And when that gets searched, we get a super uh, hero zombie showing up in spawn point one, which is right here. That's not good. We also start the game with uh, Zombie Dark Phoenix and Zombie Psylocke in the upstairs level of the mansion. We have to defeat them as well. That's our objectives. Rescue, well, basically rescue the four real bystanders and take out uh, Dark Phoenix Zombie and Psylocke Zombie. And that's how we win. So as soon as we do that, we win. We only have three windows in this mission. Uh, and I use the blue beads to designate windows. Once we smash the windows open, or zombies do, I'll be using the broken, you can just see at the very top, the broken wall tokens. Uh, and I've used the door tokens. I forget where I got these. Uh, I really wish I could remember, but they come in so handy for games like this, especially Zombicide, uh, where you have closed doors, open doors, and it just is a nice little designator for that instead of the tokens on the board, which I always find I can hardly ever see. But these are really... Well done. I think I got the doors in all the locations for the third setup. So that's basically in a nutshell what we've got to do. We're still playing with the same characters. We're playing with Colossus, Storm, Wolverine, and Rogue. I'm not going to go over their special abilities. I've done this, uh, done the four of them for two previous playthroughs. We did the very first mission, uh, Escape to the X-Jet. And we did the second mission, which was um, Breaking and Entering. We're on to the third mission. You'll see their special powers as we play the game. So of course everyone starts out with no experience. Uh, there's no zombies on the board to start with except for Dark Phoenix and Psylocke. We have to get rescuing. All right so without further ado let's uh, get into some gameplay because then that will show you how the game actually works and um, yeah we'll take a quick boo up here at the upper level and then we'll begin. So yeah, this is taking up a lot of space on my table. So here we have Dark Phoenix, and here we have Psylocke. Now I'm assuming that the stairway section here is a zone. That's how I'm going to play it. I looked it up, I can't find out if it is or not. Otherwise you can go from this zone for one move to this one. I don't think that's how that works. Oh, and I should say for levels. If there are no superheroes on a level during the enemy phase, then nothing on that level activates. So basically, when no none of our superheroes are up here on the upper level, it means Dark Phoenix and Psylocke are not going to activate, neither is the spawn point. So that's how, so we all move up here, then on the underground level, which is all the blue stuff here, then likewise there will be no zombie movement, there will be no zombie spawning, nothing will happen down there. So that's how levels Work. Now, if we got superheroes up here and down there, then yes, they're both going to activate. All right, we get to choose our turn order. Let's get to the uh, our superheroes and let's start taking some turns. All right, so the name of the game is we have to rescue bystanders. Oh, and I also forgot, when you rescue a bystander, you get 5 XP. That's how it works, plus the other benefits of getting full power and whatever abilities they have as well. Okay. We're going to start off with Rogue. And why are we starting off with Rogue? Because Rogue has this nifty little um, free action. Where's her free action? She gets minus one toughness to um, for her mighty punches. We've already seen that. And then once during your turn, you may perform a free open door action. Which is pretty cool. So everyone gets three actions to start with. Uh, and of course, the first thing you do on a hero's turn, so Rogue will gain one power. You have a maximum of four power. You can use power to add dice to your attacks, uh, so that's pretty cool. All right, so Rogue basically has three actions and a free open door. So what we're, we're going to do for Rogue is we're just going to have her go one, two, three to this zone, 
and for her free open door action, she's going to pop this door open. Now nothing's going to happen here because this zone is already open as far as the starting rules. You don't spawn here. It's all connected. We do have a spawn point right here though, so that could get interesting. Um, and that's it for Rogue's turn, very quickly. Alright, um, and you know what we're going to do for all of our characters to make life simple for ourselves? We are just, every one of them is going to power up, every one of them is going to move three spaces. Everyone is joining Rogue, one, two, three. So we are all, one, two, three, going to be right here at the end of our opening move. Alright, so now it's the enemy phase. So enemies would move, but, well... We don't have any, but we do have two spawn points. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So spawn point number one is over here, spawn point two there. So let's get drawing some spawn cards and see what we get. All right, spawn location number one, way down here. And here's our lovely spawn deck. Oh yes, we love this. This is the best thing. Because, <laughs> yeah, let's find out what happens here right off the bat. So basically all of our heroes now are at one power. Uh, and they've all moved to that one location. We're going to try and speed around the board, rescue all of these bystanders. All right, first spawn is going to be this one. Uh, after I did a shuffle. And what do we get? Of course, everyone's in the blue zone. We're just starting the game. So, boom, all brutes. Overdrive, move all brutes up to two zones if possible. Any superheroes in the zone they enter lose all of their power. Well, guess what? It's not going to activate because there are no brutes on the board. All right, that was... Spawn point number one, let's get to the second one. And the second one's way over in the east side of the board. And our next spawn for that one is, we get one walker. Okay, multiple man. Oh, hang on. Spawn indicated walkers in all zones containing walkers. We don't have any walkers, so multiple man is not going to multiply because, well, <laughs> there's nothing for him to multiply. All right, and that is that. All right, that was our very first turn. We're going to have another one, of course. We've got plenty of time left yet. So let's get back to our superheroes uh, and have them begin. All right, so here we are just outside the window to this zone, or these couple of zones. Of course, there's a closed door here as well. Nothing spawned, so we've got free run to happen right now. We are going to have Colossus going first. He's going to gain one power. He's up to two. And for his first of three actions, he will smash open the window. He just walks up to that window and puts a fist right through it, of course, because we want to get to this bystander. So boom, he smashes open the window, but we do have one spawn point in this location, so we have to spawn. He has two actions remaining, and it's we spawn, holy god, four walkers! Okay, well, um, yeah, that's a little interesting, um, a little interesting. So we have four walkers, wow, in that room. Um, okay, that's a lot, that's quite a lot, all right. So we got one, two, three, four walkers, just happen to be congregated right there. We do have a bystander there, but remember our special rules, we do not uh, rescue or we do not flip the bystander card until we're in the space in the zone with the bystander Colossus has two actions left. You know what? He's gonna step through his smashed window into the zone with the bystander and it means What do we have? We have mission secret mission number one. Oh man, which means we spawn Oh, this is all bad. We spawn a superhero zombie at Spawn point number one. So let me just readjust the camera and we're gonna do that. This is not a good start. Colossus still does have one action remaining though, uh, but we're going to spawn a superhero zombie. So here's our uh, zombie deck of superheroes. Oh wow. Okay, this uh, could have been, could've, things could have gone better. <laughs> but anyway, well it wasn't a bystander. Um, at least we got rid of the one mission card to start with. All right. Who do we have spawning? Now remember, we took out Cyclops, we took out Doctor Doom, and we took out Raccoon. They will not be showing up ever again in our playthroughs because they've been vanquished by our heroes. All right, who do we get? We get Vulture. Okay, and what does Vulture say? When he activates, all superheroes within range one lose a power. If this affects more than one superhero, Vulture performs plus one action. Uh, yeah, okay, so Vulture shows up right here. He's got a health of three. Let me find his miniature. We're going to place him in the spawn zone. 
All right, so here we have Zombie Vulture. And yes, all of these miniatures are absolutely super awesome. So here we go, Ethan has a Turkey Vulture with him. Uh, turkey Vulture, or just a Vulture Vulture. There he is in all of his zombie glory. So he appears right there. Okay, Colossus has one action remaining, and I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, he can power up, gaining himself two extra power, going to max. Or he can gain a heroic trait. You know what he's going to do? He's going to go ahead and gain a heroic trait as his final action. And what does he have for heroic trait? Unstoppable. Discard when attacking and spend one power. Enemies suffer minus one toughness to a minimum of one. That's the same power that Rogue has, but we'll give that to Colossus because why wouldn't we? Uh, and also that it will apply to um, bosses as well. So Vulture would go from three down to two, which is a good thing for Rogue. All right, that's Colossus' turn. He's finished doing everything. So that was not a bystander. It was Zombie Vulture. Um, you know what? Let's have... Should we have Rogue go next? Let's have Rogue... Or should we have Wolverine go next? Oh, man. What's Wolverine's ability? When attacking, adamantine claws out plus one. To your dice result for each wound you have, uh, suffer for each roll of a six, you get a plus one die. We're going to have Wolverine go first. Wolverine is on the hunt. He's going he's gonna to be hunting vultures. So Wolverine goes. Uh, and first thing you do on the hero's turn is we add one power. So Wolverine's up to two power. Wolverine's going to take a power-up action. Adding two more, he's at four power. That was his first action, doing a power-up. His second action will be moving in here with Vulture. Oh, yeah. And for his final action, he's going to attack Vulture. Uh, so I'm going to re re readjust the camera a little bit. He's going to spend all of his power to give him extra dice. And so with his Adamantian Claws, instead of rolling three dice, he will be rolling seven dice, hitting on a four plus. He's got to do three damage to Vulture, and he gets to re gets to add extra dice for sixes. Let's get out the dice tray and see if he can chop Vulture into little bits. All right, I think this, I should be able to fit that in there. Oh, yeah. All right, Wolverine, seven dice. <laughs> Hitting on a four plus, and he gets extra dice when he rolls a six. And what does he, well, he doesn't have to do anything. He's got three hits right there. That's enough to take out Vulture. He rolled a six, so he gets one, I guess, exploding die for him. And he rolls another four. So he basically gets four hits against Vulture. Guess what? Vulture is out of here. Sorry, Vulture, you are eliminated. Just like that. Boom. Gone. Toast. Dead. Out of here. Easy come. Easy go. Wolverine then gets three experience because uh, Vulture had three health. So Wolverine goes uh, to three, which is still in the blue zone. He's all out of power now. He spent it all to take out Vulture. That was the end of his actions. And so up next we have either Storm or Rogue. So let's figure out who we want to go next. All right, I think up next we are going to have Storm go. Storm's first action is to move through the broken window. She's got two actions remaining. Let's take a look at her card. Her attack is from zero to one, so she can attack the walkers here. She rolls two dice, hitting at a three plus. And yes, I forgot to give her her one power. She is up to two power right now. Two power, and she's got two actions remaining. And she, I think, I mean, she could power up to get up to four and then roll six dice hitting on a three plus to try and blast every one of these guys or she can just go ahead and you know what i think she's going to do that as crazy as this sounds she's going to power up so that gives her plus two she's up to four power she's got one action remaining she's going to do her lightning bolt attack uh and she's going to be rolling she's going to use all her power for extra dice that's going to give her six dice to attack the four walkers hitting on a three plus and get out the dice tray oh i guess we can see that right here oh yeah so she's going to be rolling six dice hitting on a three plus against those walkers here comes the storm and oh my goodness so the one doesn't it's just a one so she gets one two three she gets four hits exactly four hits and that will wipe out every one of those walkers giving storm 
for experience. Still in the blue zone, so that's okay. Uh, we have one superhero left to activate, and that's Rogue. And I think Rogue wants to join... Uh, I think he, she wants to join Wolverine in the spawn zone, because if a whole bunch of nasties spawn here, at least we'll have two, two superheroes able to do stuff. Okay, so we're going to have Rogue power up. She gets one power, so she's up to two. Her first action, she's going to move here. I mean, she could open that door, but we, no, we're not going to. We're not going to open the door right now from there. She has two actions remaining. She's going to... No, she's not going to power up. She's going to go ahead... Hmm. She's going to go ahead and get a trait. Heroic trait as her second action. So first action, second action, heroic trait. She gets resourceful. Discard during attacking. Gain plus one range. Ooh, I like that. I like that. You know what she's going to do then? She's going to move back here for her final action. Because she's got plus one range, depending what spawns here. Might be able to get Wolverine out of trouble. Cool! I think that's it. That's it for Rogue. Uh, and that is going to be it for the superhero's turn. So we got Colossus sitting at two power. We got Storm at zero. Wolverine zero. And Rogue at two power. Okay, it is time now for spawning. Because uh, we have, we've wiped all the superhero zombies and zombies off the board. So first up, we're spawning right here. So let's grab a spawn card. Everyone's in the blue. And we get... <laughs> okay, Vulture apparently was not alone. He came with another superhero zombie. Oh man, and the next superhero zombie on top of the deck is Drax. Each time a superhero within range 2 performs a power-up action, Drax performs an action. Okay, well, let me find Drax. <clears throat> He's showing up right there. Alright, here we have Drax doing his little muscle move here. Uh, he's loaded with, he's got swords through him and... Yeah, he's looking pretty rough for wear, but he has four health. Oh man, he just shows up right here with Wolverine. And that's pretty nasty. Alright, that was one spawn spot. Uh, we do have another one on the east side of the board. I'm trying to get things organized here. <laughs> Let's go do our final spawn. All right, we have one spawn here. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we get. Everyone's in the blue. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, wow. And uh, you saw me shuffle. I shuffled. That's another, <laughs> another freaking zombie hero. All right, which zombie, um, zombie hero is coming out here? It's going to be Rhino. <laughs> Holy gentlemen. All right, let's find Rhino. All right, and I forgot to tell you what his ability is once I found his miniature. So let's take a quick look at that. He's got four health again. Wow. Whenever he enters his zone with superheroes, roll a die. Out of four plus, all superheroes in that, in that zone suffer a wound. So he just charges right in, tries to smash you down. Now here's Rhino. Oh yeah, he's looking pretty nasty as well. Looking kind of rotted and falling apart, but he's still one tough dude. All right, that's going to be it. We're going to zoom out. We're going to wrap up our episode for today. All right, trying the 12 mile away shot. So we have taken out a Vulture. We have Drax, a zombie hero on the board. It wasn't even a... Uh, wasn't even a bystander. We haven't rescued any bystanders. Well, it's the first couple of turns. We did smash a window, so that was something. Took out four walkers. We got Rhino now. He's going to be charging down the corridor, coming at us. And that's it so far. So, thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. We're doing M02, which is the third mission. And it's called Search and Rescue. And we will have to take the elevator up to the upper level and take out... Zombie Psylocke and Zombie Dark Phoenix. We also, wow, we have so many zombie heroes. Now, I do have a lot of them, but that's what's five of them in the first episode already. So, thanks so much. See you tomorrow for the continuation.